I wanted to write a book about a family and their house and I saw the family instantly the moment I had the idea for the book and I saw the house as well. I, I just got it. I knew that's, it, it appeared to me like in a vision, <laughs> like in a dream. And um, I had to fill in the details of the house as I went along um, so that I completely believed I was in it so that the reader would believe they were in it. And I had such a lot of fun doing it because it's basically my dream house. It's kind of arts and crafts house and I love arts and crafts stuff in the middle of the countryside. Well, near Bath. Um, and it's got to be filled with the kind of things that make you feel at home. So I made this pop-up book. I went to a kind of arts uh, children's art shop and bought these pop-up books with bits that like spring up and go like that and I put lists of all the things that would be important like Nine Lessons and Carols, they love Italy, they like thrillers, they like Gilbert and Sullivan, they like gingerbread and tea towels, um, the bookcase, what kind of books would be on the bookcase, the old books that you find in holiday homes, Dick Francis, The Observer Book of Birds, Susan Howitch, um, children's books, and I cut out loads of photos from Zoopla, I'm obsessed with Zoopla, and um, different arts and crafts books that I'd found. And I went to visit different places as well. And I found this house, which is somewhere in Hertfordshire, I think, which is kind of the house I based the outside of it on, and which is kind of central to it. It's got to feel really cosy, but it's also got to be really beautiful. Then I had a lot of fun making the garden. I drew it with my felt tip pens that I'd also bought from the arts and crafts shop. I could tell myself this was work. And here is the floor plan. There's, this is really crucial as well, because you need to know where people are. I've never done that for a book before, but it just meant that when I was sitting at my computer, I'd written that down and somewhere in my mind was a complete awareness, like moving through it, almost like Harry Potter when he's got the invisibility cloak on, <laughs> um, that I totally believed I was in this house so that the readers hopefully would believe it, would believe it too. Then you twist around and twist around with all of your mind. Stretch your arm and arm straight out in space. Then you do the eagle rock away.